All right, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how I built this window fan insert for car camping. This is for a Subaru Outback, uh, but could be applied to a lot of other vehicles. So I did use a laser and a 3D printer for this, but you could use hand tools and purchase the, the window vent inserts as well. So here we're going to be starting off with a little bit of CAD, uh, that is Cardboard Assisted Design. And I'm going to be using this just to trace to make a template for, for cutting this out later on. So I'm going to use a tracing pin here to just outline the window. The important thing is to get the shape of the glass in the window frame and the, the overall frame itself. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, measure the depth of the seals all around the window and see how much room I've got in that frame uh, to go into the sides. And then I'm going to take uh, a tape measure here on that template that I did and use that as a scale. Uh, take a photo of it and then that gets put in the software where we can trace over the top of it to, to get our shape. All right, right here, I'm using a set of calipers just to verify the actual dimensions of a 3D printed part. And we can get that drawn up in the software with the rest of the shape. Uh, this is Lightburn. Uh, it is not a CAD software. It is more of a drawing software with controls for the laser. So we'll get the laser fired up and change out our material. Uh, I am going to be using a eighth inch thick piece of cast acrylic. This is clear. Unfortunately, the only thing I had was a two foot sheet. Um, realistically, this needs to be a little bit bigger. Uh, version two would, would probably be a smoked acrylic to match the window. And then I would want a few millimeters on each side to go further into the window frame. But this is what I had. And you'll be able to see with this cutout that although the window looks very rectangular, uh, it actually has quite a bit of a curve to it and is uh, somewhat of a of a strange shape, a little bit of a, a trapezoid here. I'm double checking that my mounts fit correctly in the holes. And then we will double check that this fits uh, appropriately in the window and matches the, the curve to get a good seal. Now I 3D printed uh, these rain covers and vent mounts for 80 millimeter fans. Uh, I did get this design uh, online, but it ended up that the screw hole locations uh, were not recessed enough. So I had to go back and redesign the base in CAD uh, to get it to, to recess. I had to make the backing plate a little bit thicker and then uh, recess for, for the screws that I could find at the hardware store. You can see the new backplate that was designed uh, being a little bit thicker than the, the original one, but it gives plenty of space for the screws to recess without uh, hitting the acrylic and breaking the seal. These are filter screens uh, that go between the vent and the fan just to keep any bugs and debris and stuff out from the fan. There are finger guards already on the fan kit that I got. Uh, this is an AC Infinity 80 millimeter fan kit uh, that I got because it had two fans and was USB powered uh, with a high, low, and medium switch. I'm going to be using uh, one as an intake and one as an exhaust just because I've only got one of these made for for right now. You could also use like two exhaust or two intake if you had a another vent on the opposing window on the car. And these just thread on through those holes with the 
the backing nut on there. Uh, this is the weather seal that I got to mate the acrylic to the window and keep the rain out. I really would have preferred a, a tighter seal with like an H uh, seal for, for joining two pieces of glass together, but turns out that stuff is incredibly expensive and usually only sold in like 25 foot rolls. So this was kind of the, the compromise I could find on, on Amazon and it, it does appear to work, so. And then it's time to see if we can fit this into the window frame and get it to seal up. It's a fairly tight fit on all of the seals and everything, which is, is what you'd want. Uh, you just got to be really slow when you roll the window up so that you don't overdo it. And then they just plug into any USB source, like a power bank or anything, and you've got some, some good airflow. As you can see, it started raining shortly after I got this done, and we did not have any water intrusion into the car. Again, I would like it to be a little bit wider on the on the side seals, but it did its job. Alright guys, that is all I've got for you on this one. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, uh, like, subscribe, and please leave me a comment if you want, uh, want to know anything more about any of the stuff that I did here, uh, or if you've got some suggestions on, on things I could have done differently. Just let me know down below. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one.